Faithful and joyful San Francisco 49er fans celebrating in Charlotte and now it's on to Seattle for the NFC Championship and the Seahawks are definitely not putting out the welcome mat. Grant Lotus is here to show us the hurdles for fans and how those fans can overcome them. Grant. All right, Pam, Seahawks fans, well, they have no love for the red and gold, nor should they. Eleven guys per team play on a football field at once. The Seahawks call their home fans the 12th man because of their rowdy support at CenturyLink Field. Guys like this one. Now, if you live here in California, you want to go to Seattle to root on the Niners, the Seahawks have set up a minor roadblock. It's right there in black and white on the Seahawks website. Tickets available to residents of Washington and nearby states, but not California. The team can't control the secondary market. StubHub and NFL Ticket Exchange are offering tickets ranging from $350 for standing room to $2,600 for seats on the 50-yard line to $12,000 for a box seat. Of course, that doesn't include the cost of getting there or staying there. Let's say you just have to get to the game. Driving is going to be your cheapest option. Just head up Interstate 5. It's about 800 miles, 12 and a half hours of driving time, about 100 bucks in gas each way. Amtrak is an overnight trip, 22 hours and $104 if you don't mind sleeping, sitting up. We checked the top travel sites for airfare and hotel combinations. Priceline was the best, $1,131 for nonstop airfare and three nights at a mid-range hotel. Orbitz was slightly higher at $1,400. Expedia, $1,700 for the same package. Travelocity was the same, but while we were shopping, the price jumped by $100. Bottom line, well, there is no bottom line. The prices keep changing, and so far, they're only going in one direction, Pam. That is up.